Do you ever got a feeling that you're never alone? Maybe. Maybe not. Doesn't matter. I felt completely helpless and alone when no one would believe me. No one would help me. No one at all. I swear this story is true. I fucking swear. It was my little brother's birthday tomorrow. This was five days ago, so I'd say Tuesday it was. I think, yeah, it was Tuesday. I, he was a huge fan of the circus. We took him to the circus when he was five, and he, and that was his, and that's what he told us. It was his great, it was the greatest moment of his life, he stated. It kind of made me feel happy inside. So, he would love all things circus for his birthday. So, I was old enough that I could get a car. I just got in my car five months ago. I drove in my car to the store and I was looking around for anything clown related. Of course, no luck. So I went to this shitty off-brand store neck like in our town and I thought maybe I could find some stuff since it's a party. It's called decor party. I went inside and I found a whole party section of Clowns, clowns, balloons, clown makeup, anything you can think of. I was looking as hard as I can to find any toys. Nothing. This was the fifth store I've went to and so far nothing. There were, there were hardly any stores so I was almost about to give up until... I saw it. I just heard bump, like loud bumping noises and I looked behind me and I saw it. A jack-in-the-box. I remember when he was a little younger, let's say in preschool, and when me and my mom when me and my mom went to go pick him up at the preschool, I saw him playing with a jack-in-the-box and whenever he would crank that I don't I forgot what it was called, but and he would always go, Woohoo, that was fun whenever little clown puppet would come up. I don't know, it, I found it creepy. The music unsettled me. I would, I would say I'm, I don't know. I was probably 12 at the time, yeah, 12. Anyways, I, I thought it would be a perfect gift even though it unsettled me. He never had a jack-in-the-box, so I thought since he liked clown-related circus stuff, this would be perfect for him. So, I bought it. Although, it's weird, when I went up to the front counter, the lady gave me a weird look and said, y y Are you sure you really want to buy that? I paused and asked, Why? What's wrong? Is it broken? No, it's not that. It's fine. Okay, how much do I owe you? Nothing. It's on the house, she said. On the house? Are you are you sure? Yes, just just take it and get it out of my get it out of my sight, okay? Okay. I drove back and I gave it to my brother. He was happy. He was happy. He was happy. When I got that Jack in the Box, he was the happiest kid that I've ever seen. Sure, he's had his moments where he can make a cute face and they would be really cute and happy, but this made him jump in joy. He was so happy and I remember thinking to myself, I did a good job. Although, what happened next was weird. Not unsettling, not creepy, not scary, not disturbing, just weird. 
as my brother began to crank it. It wasn't working, and I told him, maybe it's the other side. It started working. Just hearing that music made me feel unsettled. I knew it, the clown would be coming up soon, until... It wasn't there. The clown, puppet, whatever you like to call it, it wasn't there. My brother looked at me confused and I told him what's wrong. My parents looked at me in anger saying, is this some kind of sick joke? My brother began to cry a little and I'm like, don't worry, I can just get you another one. No big deal. I went to the store, the same store, but it was closed. I read the sign, the open hours. It was... It didn't make sense. I didn't understand it. it... Store hours. Ten AM. To twelve PM. But it was six. I immediately began to shake, thinking this is really strange. Maybe that this lady was crazy or something. I don't know. It made no sense. So I just shrugged it off and went to a different store. I had no luck and I went back. What did I see him doing? Well, I saw him playing with the same jack in the box. He began to shake it really faster. He began to... I was shaking it really hard. I didn't understand it. It made no sense. It was honestly creepy. I told him to stop and he stopped. I was scared shitless what I saw next. I saw the clown. It somehow came back. I, it didn't make no sense, but... Did you find the clown puppet, I said? My brother looked at me confused and said, What are you talking about? It's always been there. No, it, it shouldn't have been there. Like, you, you, you were crying when you didn't see it. No. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't, I don't. Look, I don't understand. Two hours ago, you were cranking that thing in it, and the clown didn't show up. Now it has, and you're crying. I remember. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this is funny. Something wasn't right. I took it out of his hand. He ma he immediately gave me an angry, angry, and I mean angry. This is a look I've never seen. He, I, this is a look he's never given me before. He, he didn't look. I shouldn't say he looked angry, he looked... I hate to use the word, but he looked pissed. Now, it's probably not the worst, like, it's not... It's not... I shouldn't... What I mean is... It just... When I mean pissed, he looked... He looked like he... He could kill someone if... Someone pushed him over the edge. It's hard for me to say because I'm speechless after what I remember. Just remembering all these things happening unsettled me. Took an even closer look and... All I remember is just hearing the tone of the music play. What the heck? I'm not even touching it. Although I grabbed the knob and it still played the music, I wasn't controlling it, my hand was moving by force. I couldn't believe my eyes. 
the clown. The clown was, 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 it had bloodshot eyes and it stared at me as if confused and I looked at it and I, I'm not kidding when I say I wanted to throw up. No, literally, I wanted to throw up because it disturbed me. I don't know, about something about it just creeped me out. And my brother came in the room and he's like, can I have my jack-in-the-box back? I told him no and I closed it, grabbing it. And I threw it across the room and he, he ran over and picked it up. I, I grabbed him and, and told him no, don't go near it. I hate you, he said, in an angry tone, and he left the room, crying to his parents. A few minutes later, my mom came and spoke to me about that trying to keep his birthday present. I should be ashamed of myself. I didn't make no sense. But for taking my brother's pre birthday present away. My, my parents decided that I, that my punishment was I couldn't watch TV. My parents were just a little over strict. And this is the part that haunts me. I was going to bed and as I was sleeping. What the hell? I look to my side and I see the Jack in the Box. It's playing music. I sat up in shock. I knew if that clown popped up, it would be creepy. So... I didn't see it. Thank God. Okay. I sat there crying as I saw my brother. My brother was there, bloodshot. His eyes were bleeding, gouged out. His mouth was a, a painfully wide, sm open smile. I, I threw up onto. I threw up and I looked at the corner of my side and I saw it. In blood writing on the walls, it read, Jack is back. I ran away from home that day. I'm staying in a local motel with my girlfriend. She actually believes everything that happened because she told me when she was little her brother went through the same experience. He was never found. And the only thing left of her brother's remains are in the jack-in-the-box that I bought at the store. I never found that Jack in the Box to this day, and I'm worried that you can still buy it at some local gas station or store, anywhere, I don't care. I'm worried that if someone buys it, they'll go through the same hell that I had to go through. So those of you who like the circus, be aware. Because Jack might soon come for you.